We are in the town of Christmas, Florida today, which gets its name from Fort Christmas. Uh, we are on the site of Fort Christmas Historical Park, which is a recreational park in addition to being uh, a historical, more or less clearinghouse for numerous um, old buildings, uh, old houses, post offices, things like that, much like Heritage Village in Largo or uh, the historical park in uh, Bradenton, and there's other places throughout the state where they more or less take uh, the houses from the local area rather than destroy them, they move them to a, to a location. That's what they've done here. We're, we're here to see primarily Fort Christmas itself. This is a reproduction of the actual fort that stood near here, but not on the actual site of Fort Christmas that was built in 1837. We are um, in front of a reproduction, although it was very near here. We're told it was near here, but I don't know for sure where it was. And I'm not even sure they're sure that they know where it really was back in the day. But we're near here. So we're gonna go in and take a look at it now. And we're gonna look at the, the block house. This would have been uh, uh, where they, the soldiers would have slept, the barracks more or less, probably the officers on top and the less the men on the bottom, unless they had separate uh, uh, separate facilities for the officers um, and in, back in the day if this were the actual site of an actual fort this whole area around the surrounding area everywhere around we had tents outbuildings um, wagons horses the whole thing not everything would have fit inside the actual fort in fact the only reason the actual fort would exist would be in a case of attack and then everybody would gather inside but typically during you know, regular operations, it would be, uh, everybody would be out here doing their thing out here. So, you can go check it out. Never been here before. And again, this is a reproduction, a uh, recreation of what the actual fort looked like. And there's the lovely research assistant. Oh, we've got buildings to go inside. Things to go inside. Let's go inside. See what's there. Fort Foster in Tampa. Oh, there's another blockhouse on the other side. Very cool. Fort Foster in uh, Hillsboro, north of Tampa, is a recreation also, but it is on the actual site. And they've said that. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, how cool. I had no idea this was here like this. This is a museum. No wonder they've got windows here. It's air conditioned. I check this out. I thought it was gonna be like Fort Foster, like, you know, rustic and realistic. This is like a museum. Oh, they have windows here. This is really cool. It's the American flag of 1837 with 26 stars. The 27 star was added in 1845 to um, add Florida. Obviously, very guns, various guns, but not uh, not all of these guns are representative of the time period. These are Winchesters, lever actions, and they would have come much later in history, 50 years later. And the 
Let's go upstairs to more museum. I think I'm gonna go check out the outbuildings first. I wasn't prepared for the museum part of it. And I'm gonna come back and photograph it, so. Yeah, it'd be great. Now these in real life, I don't believe, at least what we see at Fort Foster, would have been uh, flat hewn like this. It would have simply been the other side of the log. Um, but I'm not positive about that. At least that's the way it is in Fort Foster. So. And that has been confirmed as an actual reproduction of the actual fort. Blockhouse. I don't think we get access to this one, maybe. Yeah, it's unlocked. Let's see what we got. A little of the same. More, uh... Oh, how fun. Uh-oh. Very nice. We see this a lot out in the wild. This came much, much later in uh, time. No, I'm just... Yeah, no, no, no. These hurdy cups weren't even invented until the uh, 20th century. But still, a nice, you know, cool museum. Cracker cow stuff. Water cracker cow man. They were fine. I had no idea. I, I knew the re reproduction of the fort was here, but I didn't know all this was here. This is very nice. Honey. Very Honey. Wakahuda. 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 Right. Turpentine. Wakahuda. I have to go look through Wakahuda. Listen, Wakahuda is between the Canopy and uh, Williston, isn't it? Yeah. Or, there is isn't it? Yeah. Because that's where that, the script cabins were, were from, was that place. Mm -hmm. Nice. But it's cool in here, too. <laughs> you wouldn't think it would be. Check out these museums. Really neat. Um. I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Cool. Buildings of Fort Christmas. Fort Christmas Museum began. Recognition. A small Seminole War Fort. Groundbreaking, 1975. Whoa, that's a long time ago. Cool. Good job. Good job, these people, to preserve their history. Storehouse. This is a storehouse. Inside of this building, the rounded log seems to be more like what would have been on the Palisades. It wouldn't have been a and a half.
flag post. So that's it. This is the this is the reproduction of Fort Christmas, which was an actual Seminole Indian War Fort back in the day. We don't know if it's all actually. We don't know if there are any battles around here, but most Florida Seminole War Forts did not see action. They were simply meant to deter action more than anything else. So we're going to photograph this. Uh, we're going to check out the outlying buildings because they all have a great deal of historical interest and content. And uh, it's going to be it for now. On behalf of me and the loveliest of research assistants, we are out. <laughs>